All right, boss, we're gonna learn how to apply clay to our twisted paper and masking tape armature. If you will notice that my little guy here already has some remnants of clay on here from when I sh showed that to another class uh, and I took it off. I wanna remind those of you who wear rings that you're gonna to wanna to put your rings in a very, very safe place before you do this because the clay will stick to it. And I'm gonna give you uh, you know, a good chunk of clay like this that you're gonna to wanna to divide into a couple of balls. You're gonna to wanna to take that ball and kind of work it and look to make sure that um, like little pockets of toilet paper, like you see here, that's still pretty white. He was really crumpled up in the clay mixture and didn't get dispersed very well. So you wanna see what you can do there. Now the clay should be malleable, meaning that you can hold it you can shape it in your hands. Yes, you're gonna get residue on them like I have here, but it's not so terribly sticky that you can't um, work the clay. If it is really sticky like that, then you need to go get some more flour, cover your hand in it, just kind of dust your hand, and then work it into the clay so that you can handle it. Now, when you make this little pancake and you see shreds like this of toilet paper, you can just leave it in there. It will smooth down once you start applying it and drying it. Alrighty, the concept of making pancakes is the easiest way that I can share with you how to start applying the clay to your armature. I just laid him right here at the bottom. We always wanna start from the bottom working up because this will balance your sculpture so that you can dry it out. You want to <clears throat> take your hand and start pressing it into shape. And this is where it was important that you had um, kind of smoothed out bumps and things like that with your tape, um, the masking tape and the bumps because it's not gonna camouflage a whole lot as you can see here. It's important to press it. The amount of clay that you put on here, you're gonna press that to an even larger space. You don't want it to be really any thicker than the thickness of, best way I can describe it to you would be the thickness of a textbook cover. Alrighty, um, that's probably an eighth of an inch or so. You want a consistent thickness all the way around your sculpture. And notice here that I am pressing it into the waist that I have, pressing it down, trying to stretch it as far as it will go without any unsightly bumps and things like that. Also, I don't want the masking tape to be showing through. And I am sure that I will come up with that in a minute. On the bottom, you want to always be able to see your name. So check that every once in a while and clear it. But where you are putting your clay on the bottom, just kind of bring it over down here um, so that it will not be seen by your little snowman when he's standing up. We don't ever want to see any of the masking tape that's there. All right, so I've got half of him covered with that piece of pancake. I'm going to add another piece of pancake and I want you to remember the term that we studied, which was joining. We are going to join two different pieces of the clay now. And these two will stick to each other pretty doggone well without us having to score too terribly much with our fingernails or um, with a toothpick or something. But I want you to see, I've got this second pancake and this is a very broad area, I feel like, it will cover this really, really well. I'm gonna counterbalance it this way. And then I'm gonna start pressing him down just like I did the other side. And where these two pieces are gonna to come together, you don't want a ton to um, overlap here because that's gonna add bulk, but you do want to join those two pieces together. So I am kind of mushing it into each other I don't necessarily have to score it yet. That will be for the other pieces that we add on later on. Alrighty, once I get this placed reasonably well and it feels, I'm gonna take off my arms here. Notice that I haven't hard glued those in yet. I want to Make sure that you cannot see the seam where these two pieces have come together. So I'm gonna to press those and I'm gonna make sure it's the same thickness 
all the way around and you can feel it. You can feel it mushing up here against the masking tape and the armature underneath there. And you will feel, you know, when it gets too thin, you can take it away from certain areas that you've already pushed down. So for example, I wanna fill this and I've got this bit here that I don't really need. So I'm just going to kind of make him snake-like, push him down, push him over. And then I'm going to work him pressing so that these two pieces are going to join together and join well so that I don't have a seam visible. Now it is a rough looking texture right now and that is a-okay. We'll smooth it down. That's the last thing that we're going to do. And I still have this and you can see that I've got a chunk of clay that I'm kind of moving around my sculpture to get him to this point to fill that in. Alrighty, and again, let's take a look at the bottom. I've got these pieces encroaching the bottom, but never completely covering over my name. And then I wanna hold him upright and see if he is balanced. Alrighty, because the clay is now completely around the bottom part, he should be balanced and stand up on his own and he doesn't topple over very easily. So I'm good to go with the next pieces of clay. I wanna inspect to see if I see any masking tape showing through, which I do right here. I see that. I could even take some of this off of my fingers and press that in to cover it up or simply go get another little piece of clay. But here's another thing I want you to see. You will be working with a cup of water near you. Not a lot of water is in there. And that's what you'll use to smooth out your clay. So I'm just wetting my fingers and showing you how I'm smoothing this out. But don't do this until the very last step because you might be having to smooth yours out several times if you keep doing it that way. Alrighty, to give it texture.